You know, when I first heard about Lilith and her apocalypse, I was skeptical that a resurrected half-demon warrior from the 17th century was going to be our best shot at beating her forces of darkness back. And now? Nico and company made the right call when they raised you from the dead. Because I'm pretty sure you're the one who's going to save the day. That is quite a meaningful compliment coming from you, but I'm just doing the best I can. See? That's what I'm talking about. You managed to do the right thing and get things done, which is a rare talent for the average person. But from Lilith's kid, I definitely did not expect this level of leadership from you. You think I have what it takes to be a leader? No, Hunter. I know you have what it takes. You just need time to stew, grow into yourself. When I enlisted, I was 90 pounds soaking wet. A light breeze would have knocked me over, not what you call captain material. But I didn't give up. And I won't let you either. I wish I could drive a vehicle like you do. Thanks. I'm doing the best I can. Ah, Hunter. I could listen to your stories for hours. I have worked hard for many years to get where I am. It turns out, Tony does occasionally make useful contributions. Hey, Hunter. Lots of good stuff. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Just about to see what in store. This will greatly advance our re Don't forget to write. Stay out of trouble. Is this what you wanted to show me? A mushroom? Fascinating, isn't it? Some of the rarest species of flora I've ever seen. Carol says there are mushrooms growing in these woods that were thought extinct decades ago. And that tree over there? I'm pretty sure it just winked at me. I did not realize you were so interested in nature, Tony. Oh, I'm not. I have terrible allergies. I'm just petrified to be inside. Tony. I know, I know. I'm sure it will be all fine in the end. I mean, look at us. First time I laid eyes on you, I assumed you were gonna swallow my soul. And now here we are. Two friends, enjoying a moment.
The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You're right, of course. I'm just surprised you didn't work in a basilisk or giant spider or some other terrible monstrosity you've beheaded over the years. Yes. I suppose your situation is not unlike unraveling the web of Rorg, the Spider King. One strand at a time. And there it is. Well, I suppose it's time to get back to the old abbey before Caretaker six the Hounds of Hell on us. Well, Hound. Are you sure? I could stay outside longer if... No, I'm good. Better, in fact. Oh, you won. Besides that tree I mentioned that winked at me before, I think it just took a few steps closer. Blaze. Thought it might be nice to get away from the others and not talk for a change. So we are going to fight again? Not exactly. You've proven you can handle yourself with a sword hunter, but a warrior's greatest weapon is their mind. Yoga requires discipline, balance, and control. Three things I'm hoping you've got in spades. How about we grab a couple of mats and find out? Agatha instructed me in multiple postures from the original sutras themselves. I would be happy to show you a few techniques. Well, I didn't exactly learn my asanas from the mall, Hunter. Okay, Blade. Let us do this. Was hoping you'd say that. Now sit down, relax, empty your mind. Or as Magic likes to say, Pretend you're Robbie. Where in the hell are you, Blaze? See if you're as good. Ready to work? Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobweb coats out here. Running a search for our new pal Blaze's location, and all of a sudden, this happened. Equone credite tucri. Latin? Do not trust the horse Trojans. Carol, just what type of search were you running? There. It's a message. Well, more like a bad dad joke from beyond the grave. Howard? His research files. Whenever there's any unauthorized access, the Trojan Horse program activates, and... Bingo. There's our little thief right there. The Southwest. That cannot be a coincidence. Tony, did Howard do this to all his files? Oh no. Only the good stuff. The really juicy stuff. How juicy? Well, I'll give you two guesses, but you'll only need one. A big green one. I would admit, I'm 
super curious to find out what Bruce has been digging up in the old files. And how Lilith plans to use it against us. Sophie Banner's not seeking a way to banish them. Are you always that slow? Find out what Banner is searching for in the Stark Files, then get back here. We got this, Sarah. I know how to handle Bruce. He's fallen under Lilith's power. He's no longer the same man you knew. Yeah, he's a little more exciting now. Stark, wait! We don't know what he's planning! Hesitated with Bruce before and it cost us. Don't worry. This time, I've accounted for... And if these results are correct, it changes everything. everything. You knowingly triggered that Trojan horse, didn't you? I did. Another trap, Bruce? Huh. I'm disappointed. No trap, Tony. An invitation. To what? Join Queen Demon and the Creepy Crew? If anyone could fight her off... I'd have thought it'd be you. And why would I ever want to do that? She values me. Not the monster you all seem so fixated with. Together, we will shatter the limitations of what you refer to as magic and science. But don't take my word on it. My gamma accelerator is only the first step. We stand on the precipice of true Yeah, yeah, I heard that one before. Usually when Pops was ready to kick off the new arms race. Save your phony disgust for the cameras. We both know you're interested. I want you to finish Howard's work. Uh-huh. With me. Of course. Together we will fulfill your father's destiny. Yep. And bask in the glory of the Dark Mother. And there it is. Well, Bruce, I can see how well this whole Lilith thing is working out for you, but the problem is I already have a team. And while I appreciate the generous offer, we're gonna take back my father's data and then kick your evil ass. You misunderstand me, Tony. I wasn't asking. Dr. Banner was kind enough to alert Hydra's forces to your presence. If you ever wanted to show off your elite hacking skills, now would be the time, Mr. Stark. Me show off? What would ever give you that idea? And didn't I tell you to call me Tony? Just hack the computer before they smash it, please, Tony. See, that wasn't so hard. had your chance to escape. That's not good. I know that wasn't your signature move. Hope they're ready. Love the effort. on me I don't know about? Are you still online? 
As ordered. On Delta, responding. From the rift, her blessing emerges. <laughs> Salesman Bruce, at least butter me up before you attack my deservedly huge ego. Just like old times. Hydro reinforcements. Anything you can do to expedite the process. Look, you can't just smash the keyboard and wait for a bunch of algebraic equations to fly off the screen. This isn't some 90s movie. Keep an eye on that one. Credit where credit is due, 
Stark knows his technology. Got it. Why can it never be easy with you? Just lucky, I guess. Tony, wait. We have what we came for. There's no reason to follow him. just getting bigger and bigger. I would be more concerned about the maze. Oh, I was getting to that. But I just can't pull my eyes away from that massive brain case of hers. I'm glad you're in good spirits, but the Dread Maiden is no laughing matter. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Let's do it. See the target. That will not distract me. Let's try this one. I feel at least four percent stronger than before. I've got to check on that. Try summoning reinforcements unless you can disable her first. Sure, maybe we'll just take a They're not going to like this.
my future holds. You have earned this! is admirable. has made this dread maiden in her own twisted image. Appreciate it. This should be good. Herself could not best me. We will make this quick. Try harder next time. It's not going to be that easy. here. Welcome assistance.
Ready for round two? Never too old to improve. is at hand. It's over for you. All who serve the little fall. danger you're in. Don't let her overwhelm you. Well, that's a really helpful insight. You should come down here and knock on You were too weak for this fight. That's your strength. Watch my back! 
I knew we could do it. I wasn't sure how you'd fare against her, but the Dread made it was no match for you. Call that thing again? Dread Maiden. Oh yeah, I can see that. I think I lost myself there for a second. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry about that. He that starts out on a quest for vengeance. This work, this discovery, will have ramifications for generations to come. Think my own son to tell you. Better not miss. Every time it seems like I finally put my family issues behind me, someone has to go and pick at the scar. Is this about what Banner found in your father's files? Bingo. Let's just say your mom and my dad would have made a real cute couple. In hell. At least you managed to grab whatever Banner was after. Tiny victory, I guess. But I don't think Banner or his puppet master are gonna give up that easily. Especially knowing what kind of stuff my father had in those files. Perhaps I should know more about him. Your father, that is. Some kids' dads had hobbies like collecting coins or stamps. Mine collected Defense Department contracts. And on the rare occasions when he wasn't off trying to build a better bomb, he was yelling at me. Over what? Over everything! So Banner wants one of your father's bombs? No, it's worse than that. Howard had an avid interest in gamma radiation. That's the thing that puts the Hulk in Hulk. He always talked of constructing a Gamma Accelerator, an unbelievably powerful piece of machinery. If that's what Banner's after, we could be in a world of hurt. Whatever it is, we will never let Banner get it. Well, I hope you're right. I wish I could have your can-do attitude right now. If it helps, we could go through the files together and strategize. I appreciate the offer, Hunter, but right now, I just need to get out of this suit and put my thoughts together. Time for book club. You coming? Meet you there. See you there. I like this book, but I can't explain why. Maybe I'll figure it out as we discuss it. Kinda miss the simplicity of vampire slaying. Hell's mustering all its machinations to thwart us. I should not be this nervous about what you all thought of the book. Even the best translations from Cree lose subtext. Everyone's in a mood. Let's get this started. I am ready. Carol, this was your book, so you can start. I'll throw it back to you. What did you think of the book? I had a rough time with it. You didn't like it? Didn't say that. At first I've spent more time referencing the glossary than reading the book. Sounds familiar. What changed? I noticed a kind of rhythm to the words. I began to see them as lyrics to a song. All that dry talk faded, and it finally came together. The lyrics made it feel much bigger than a chapter on Cree farming implements. This book was about much more than farming. Exactly. The rhythm to it helped paint a bigger picture. 
Once I caught on, I kept reading and didn't rely on the glossary. I picked everything up from context. That's when I realized none of this was about farming. I'm surprised how much stuck with me, despite some concepts being legit alien to me. Agreed. For me, the rhythm wasn't lyrics. It was more like the book was written to a cadence. That's why I had you read it on your spark. The mnemonic lexicon won't work with a hard copy. The what now? An ancient Cree technique. It helps you remember texts that would otherwise be considered... There's no Cree word for stuffy, but essentially that. But all that's packaging. Let's get into the book itself. Uh, Hunter, did you figure out what the bloom and the harvest represent? The bloom represents the range of a fortress. The harvest happens when enemies enter that range. That's one vital part. You're right, the bloom can represent overlapping fields of fire, but it's more than one concept. At the time of the book's writing, the Kree cared most about integrating captured territory while still expanding their empire. Conquered worlds came with people. Rather than treat them as prisoners, the Kree provided them with most benefits enjoyed by Kree citizens. This period is known as the Cultivation. So the bloom was when they gained full citizenship under their conquerors? No, it's when the world requested it. As long as they could feed themselves with Cree farming techniques and defend their world with Cree defenses, the request was granted with few exceptions. So what's the harvest? As part of the service required by the Empire, many of these new citizens began the cultivation of freshly conquered worlds. So they were living examples. Show the newly conquered what they could achieve if they went along with the Empire. That's also how vampires work. Carol, I think I've pieced together the Cree strategy. Do tell. It's all tied to agriculture. Every soldier knows you can't fight if you can't eat, but they applied this to their expansion. Till the field, sow the seed, pull the weed, reap the crop. It means the Cree wouldn't advance until the territory they took was secure and productive. If your enemy knows how you will act, they can prepare. Certainly, for other spacefaring empires. But most worlds had no idea the Kree existed until the invasion was underway. But the Kree expansion had momentum. They could afford to push harder because their whole weight was behind the advance. Unless a world could push just as hard, it would eventually fall under Kree control. Carol, how was that? Close enough to impress me. The strategy in Volume 32 wasn't perfect, but it worked out for the Kree far more often than it failed. What happened when it failed? That's covered in Volume 33. And that's Book Club. Steve, you're up next. What's your book? The Mantle of Authority, by General Chester Phillips. Is this the one you keep saying I should read? The very same. Now you have to. It's Book Club. Before I forget, I asked Logan to join us next time. He said yes? He can read? I can't wait to see how this goes. I hope you enjoy the book I chose. Why do you say that? It's about people who weren't around until after your death. But I'm sure you'll figure out the context. So why choose this book? Volume 30 was way too spicy for this crowd. Go on. I'm kidding. It's relevant to what we're facing today. Hydra, the Lilin, your mom. They seem to have the upper hand all over the world. I thought the Kree always won. No. That's what the Kree convinced everyone to believe. We haven't lost until we start believing their propaganda. And that's how we defeat our enemy. As long as we're still standing, they're gonna fall. Okay, just between us. Carol's book was extremely weird, right? 
I learned a thing or two. What? How to grow turnips on the moon? That is harsh. I didn't think it was that bad. But interstellar agriculture as a metaphor for planetary conquest, not what I expected. You should be honest with Carol. I'm always honest with Carol. But if I tell her it was a weird book, I'll sound like I don't know much about her adopted culture. And how is that bad? You do not know, so this is the perfect opportunity to ask. Good point. All right, I'll do it. Thanks, Hunter. Good luck. You headed out? I am taking off. Righteous. Carol, I had some more thoughts on the book. You do? You must have really liked it. Actually, I didn't connect with it at all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. You didn't like it. It's more that I didn't have the context, but you do, and you clearly like the book, so... So... I wanted to see it through your eyes. If you don't mind, I like that context. I don't mind. Okay, then. Most of my time at Central is hurry up and wait. Stop by when I'm waiting. We'll talk. I will. Good. Tony Stark's father had a secret trove of gamma research that Bruce Banner stole from under our noses. How are you, Peter? Better than the world out there. I've been watching this for hours, hoping to get a glimpse of the neighborhood, see how it's holding up through all this. But, yes, Queens is not important enough for the news media to cover. An absence of news is not necessarily a bad thing. Is that supposed to make me feel better? So take heart that nothing is being reported regarding your neighborhood. It probably means everything is okay there. Thanks, Hunter. That makes me feel mildly better. I just hope Aunt May is safe. I've been trying to reach her on her cell all day today and the signal keeps dropping. I'm guessing that big hole in the New York atmosphere is interfering with her cellular network. Sometimes I feel like I should be there with her. To protect her. To protect the neighborhood. But I know you need me here. Be assured, we will not allow any harm to come to her. You really mean that? I do. That... Like, means so much to me to hear you say. Oh, looks like I just got a message. From your Aunt May? No, MJ. She said Aunt May is staying with her. What a relief. You should call them. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Thanks for checking in on me, Hunter. Robbie and I are gonna play Valor's Edge until duty calls. If Lilith mind jacks me, she's gonna be surprised how much of it is taken up by movie trivia and web fluid formulas. It's your move, Tony. Move for me. I can't move for you. That defeats the purpose of the game.
books in this place are something else. Did you know that there is an entire section about spiders in the occult? Peter, I am sorry you have to find out this way, but I guess it is time we talked. You're not afraid of spiders, are you? Terribly. But you're Hunter. THE Hunter! You're not afraid of anything. I am a complicated being. Huh. Is the legs? The crawling? The knowledge that the entire spider population can eat all of humanity in a year given the chance? Or is it because there is one just six inches away from you right now? What? Where? Just kidding. It's me. Actually, all this reading got me thinking, and there is something I wanted to run by you. With my spider roots, and the spiders being so occult adjacent, apparently, who knew, I can maybe be a good fit for the Midnight Suns. I'm not asking you to pull any strings for me or anything like that, I just want your honest opinion as a friend. Do you think I'd make a good candidate? For now, you should focus on being the best you can be in every situation. And when this is all over, we can talk about your future. Of course, of course. Either way, I would like a chance to prove myself first. Don't want anyone to say that you're giving me any special treatment. Well, I am sure you can figure out how to make that happen. One last question. Yes? If I read these books here, I'm not summoning any demons or evil spirits, right? Have you been reading them aloud? No? Do not open your door to any knock that sounds unnatural or inhuman, and you should be fine. No inhuman knocks. Got it. Thanks, Hunter. It's a simple question. I mean... Maybe? Maybe how? Maybe you did see a stolen piece of one-of-a-kind Gamma Tech at the mysterious creepy lab? It is possible. We were busy. Yeah, trying to save our friend. The one you all abandoned. Uh, no. The one we are all trying to save. Along with the rest of the planet. Banner's Accelerator. Now this from the person who saw their first light bulb a few weeks ago. And we're done here. What if I were to tell you that theoretically, we could use the accelerator to destroy the parchment of power? I would say, theoretically, that without the parchment of power, the prophecy could not come to pass. But that is impossible. Agreed. This from the wizard with the talking cape, the resurrected demon hunter, the blood witch, and the queen of limbo? <laughs> I'm the most boring person here. There might be a way to return to that facility. You never told me that. My sword retains a memory of every portal I open, but... It is better if I show you. To reach it, something pushes back. Like I've hit a wall. A wall? More like pure evil. A demonic energy barrier. Unlike any I felt before. Bruce. No matter what we do, he's always one step ahead of us. And to think, he used to be the boring one. There has to be a way through, and we have to find it. Try explaining that to Auntie Caretaker. She just read me the riot act about putting you in danger. You worry about the barrier. I will handle Sarah. Thanks, Hunter.
Caretaker could have at least left me a chair. Be ready to go in no time. Oh, you are gonna love this. Let's get to work. This thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Are there any curses I should be aware of? I've crossed paths with this artifact once before. It didn't end. Later. No pain, no gain. Do your thing. You appear to have something on your mind, Hunter. You obviously have something to say, so please say it. And make it quick, we don't have a lot of time. We need to go back to the Hydra Lab Banner was using. We need... I don't need to hear any more. The answer is no. Caretaker, please. It is possible we could use the Stark Gamma Accelerator there to destroy the Parchment of Power. Oh, in that case, let me make my displeasure clearer. There is no way in hell I'm letting any of you go back to that lab, especially you. My job is to keep you alive, and that's what I intend to do. This is the last I want to hear of such an ill-advised plan. When I said you needed to work better as a team last night, I didn't mean you needed to work better to come up with absurd ideas. Listen, I am sorry if I upset you. It was not my intention. <sighs> it's all right. It's a trying time for us. If I let anything happen to you, all of this would be worthless. I understand. You are trying to keep me safe. I'm trying to keep you alive. Safe and alive are two very different things. And it'll be much easier the minute you stop trying to throw yourself into danger. If you're feeling productive, maybe gather the team and use their collective resolve to stop the days from marching forward. It seems time is one of our enemies as well now. With it. What did Caretaker say when you proposed breaking back into Big Bad Banner's lab to retrieve Stark's Gamma... Gamma... Gamma Accelerator. <laughs> yes, that. I cannot imagine it went well. <laughs> Not well at all. She will change her mind. <laughs> no, she won't. We're going to have to go sneaking around behind her back again if we want to get anything done. And we shouldn't have to do that. 
She should trust us. We should be trusted. Uh, no offense, Ileana, but it is not exactly like we have given Caretaker many reasons to trust us. Offense taken. You can sit there on your high horse and pretend you are innocent of any deception, but we both know that is not true. Perhaps you are the one who should be begging for Caretaker's trust. That's why it's imperative for you to convince Caretaker that going back to Banner's lab is in the best interest of the entire team. You think we will encounter Wanda there? I know we will. Now hurry along and figure out a way to make it happen. We are counting on you. Legend walks among us. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Roger that. Get to the trucks and grab those artifacts before they roll out. This feels all too familiar. that works.
possibly match your strength. Let us see if they have an answer for this. Why so many fear your strength? I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Now it's my turn. Many before you have tried and failed. Maybe it's time you quit this racket. Behold the light's gift! Advantage is mine.
done waiting. The artifacts are secure, but why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? Bring it on! Never surrender! Some for the rest of us. Ready up. Take too long. No mercy for the servants. This is a serious predicament. How long have you been waiting to do that? This keeps up. I've been winning. Is Faustus running some kind of experiment on your face? I think you You're a 
a natural. I'd say that was a very successful outing. Good work. Nice shirt. Cool symbol. Oh my god, Robbie. Why are you so pumped about meeting Blades? Word on the street is the dude's a major a-hole. Oh, come on. He's the original spirit of vengeance and, like, my personal hero. Almost as lame as Hank P I'm getting used to the Abbey. Didn't think I'd like it at first. Monks lived here isn't on my list of preferred amenities. What changed your mind? It reminds me of a Cree outpost. Mostly solitary, but you have your team around. Enough contact with civilization to avoid going loopy. Is it difficult for you to live so remotely? You kidding? It's great. First, you have a perfect excuse to ditch unwanted social engagements. Second, you can focus on the mission at hand, very few distractions. And third, you know you're going home at the end. What about you? You died here, so I bet you have some complicated thoughts about this place. Yes, there are bad memories. But the good ones outweigh them all. You're lucky you have that. I'm making some new ones right now. <laughs> no one likes a suck-up hunter. But so am I. You're not half bad, hunter. Feeling good today, girl?
caretaker could have been. You could go a few rounds. You are going to love this. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? What can I say except you're welcome? I'm happy to help, Hunter. So, uh, does someone want to tell me what we're doing here? We have a plan, Robbie. We just need you to wear something. Uh, wear what? We'll get to that. It's a statement piece. And what kind of statement is that? Relax, kid. You should be excited. You're going to summon Johnny Blaze for us. We're ready to go when you are. I'm curious to see if this really works. I think Robbie will do fine. So let's begin. How am I supposed to summon Johnny Blaze? I don't summon. Summoning is not my thing. Hey, Hunter. Okay, what's Hydra up to now? This stuff is actionable. Let's shut it down. These are the current priorities. Stay out of trouble. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. 